Hey there, so today we have another review. This is Coconut French Toast from Deccan Ales. Shout out to Paul, head brewer, owner of the brewery. Um, was working in their tap room last year, so really exciting. Congratulations on one year. So Paul is still, uh, Decanent is still doing um, pa uh, uh, Gypsy Brewing and this is out of Dorchester, this is 8.6%. This is Coconut French Toast. This is a double IPA brewed with coconut, caramelized sugar, maple syrup, and cinnamon, but also definitely check out the tap room in Maranek, New York, which is in Westchester, right next to Halftime Beverage, where I used to work. Check it out. So the beer comes in a beautiful um, viscous, yeah. So <laughs> something shows coming on here. The bubbles move a little funny. It's got a nice thickness to this beer. Uh, the beer comes in a light to medium gold color, uh, medium plus haze on it, but there's some amount of sugar or some kind of either high gravity or high finishing gravity on this beer or uh, some additional sugars added to it, but it looks pretty nice. Hmm. It smells like, uh, what is going on here? It's got, I mean, it's got an amalgamation of flavors, but it smells a little bit like a, a little bit of suntan lotion thing. Coconut suntan lotion. A little spice as well. What is that? Like cocoa butter or something? There's some kind of fragrance driving in there that's a little bit sweet, tropical. It smells quite nice. Cheers. Mm. So, despite all those flavors up front, um, it's actually not that intense. It's not that huge impression killer face off kind of beer. Uh, there's a little bit of cinnamon dancing around, a little bit of maple syrup. The coconut drives in and actually plays really nice. But the hot flavors, again, this is a New England style IPA. So pineapple notes and the orange and the grapefruit sort of like play into this pina colada kind of like coconut, oily coconut kind of citrus kind of thing, which actually plays quite tropical. It's quite fun. Mm. As I was talking about with the beer, it has this kind of like chewing viscosity. So I'm actually very curious how much residual sugar is left in this beer or it's back sweetened because it's not coyly sweet, but there's a lot of sweetness up in this beer. And actually what it can do is actually cut back on those green hop flavors and those intense New England-y New England -y kind of things that are happening on the back end. This beer is actually not that hop bitey, but I expect it might be from that kind of like it's like tapioca, tapioca pudding. There's like a chew and a little bit of like this kind of like, like viscosity again. It's like unctuous dessert. Quite nice. I like it. And as I think about it more, it's like a pineapple, coconut, tapioca pudding. A little bit of maple syrup in there with a good amount of like actual granule sugar. Fantastic. This for me is one of the beers that actually works out like a little more than impression. Uh, a lot of their, a lot of the decadent beers can be very impression based, like four to eight ounces. This one sits a little bit more. I wouldn't say it's a four pack beer. You're not gonna sit here and drink a four pack of this, no. But uh, for me, this one gets a 90. I mean, I wouldn't even call it French toast. Coconut French toast. The problem is when you call French toast, you're looking for Maillard, which is that like beautiful, eggy, rich brioche that's like nice and like, you know, pan fried. And those Maillard flavors are not in here. You know, coconut French toast, you're looking for a brown ale, probably at least a stout, you know. Uh, this one is more of like, again, beautiful kind of like brulee, tapioca pudding kind of thing going on. It's really fun. It's really delicious. 93. Fun beer, coconut French toast, and until next time, guys, cheers. But we're gonna get an off camera rating. <laughs> Always last minute. Well, you know, I heard you wrapping it up, so I figured I'd come intervene. This is coconut French toast. I'm not getting so much of the French toast aspect. As we're getting coconut. Coconut, yeah. A little bit of cinnamon. A little bit, little bit of cinnamon, maybe some kind of like maple-y type thing going on. Maples in here. And somewhat of an egginess, but it, I, I wouldn't quite like... We're also getting pineapples and I feel fruit. like the coconut is just... I feel like... It, stop trying to lead me, but... I feel like the coconut is just a bit too overwhelming 
to constitute this as being coconut French toast, I feel like maybe this is like a coconut dessert of some sort versus like French toast. That's what I was just saying. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't hear that part. Uh, Tropical coconut dessert. Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of on the back end, you do get some of the egginess though. So maybe like a... Custard? Custard creme brulee. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was going tapioca. I was... Tapioca. There we go. Uh, yeah, I like a coconut tapioca. Yeah. Um, it's got that like thing going on in the mouth. It's definitely get that. lacking something. I think that they that we had another one. What was it? A jelly French toast or something like that that we had from Decadent. That I think was a bit more spot on with French toast because I think that we, if I remember correctly, picked up more of the cinnamon and more of the syrup. Maple. A lot of maple. Yeah. More of the syrup flavor. On this one, I wish there was more syrup flavor specifically to make this more of a French toast uh, style beer. Um, not awful. Not the best I've had from Decadent. You that like being two said, beers I would Decadent. give it probably a 95. You know, it's still a pretty good beer. We've had some pretty crap. 95? Actually, yeah, you're right. That's a bit, that's a bit I was high. like, what? That's a high rating. Probably like 92. Okay. We've had some pretty crappy dessert beers lately, I feel like, uh, the ones that we have had. And so this does kind of shine a bit more. It doesn't have to sell what it says on the can, but it's tasty. It doesn't have to sell what is on the can, but it's tasty. Yeah, okay, but if I'm going at it as an average beer drinker, which I technically consider myself as, I'm going for a coconut French toast. IPA, not a brown ale stout. Right, but I mean, flavor-wise, I'm going for coconut French toast. This lacks enough to say French toast. This is like French toast dessert. This is like coconut. Dessert. This is a coconut pineapple tapioca. I would say coconut something. pineapple with a dash of cinnamon. Sure. I'm sorry, coconut tapioca with a dash of cinnamon. Not bad. Just not what I would expect. That's all. Nine through for me. Until next 93. time, guys. Cheers. Yeah. Later.